So the other day I posted a video showing you how to do this effect, but all of the letters were solid like this. Um, people are asking, how do I get an outline to my font without it being all rounded? Because if you use um, a linked offset, a lot of times they'll come out rounded. So I'm going to show you how I did this. It's pretty simple. Um, again, I'm going to just use the same font that I used in my mirror text video. Um, and if you haven't watched that and I go too fast in this video, then just type my name in YouTube along with mirror text and the video should come up for you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is text. So I'm going to add a stroke. Actually, I'm going to separate these letters, um, give a little space in between there. So go back to my text tool. First, make sure it's selected. Go back to my text tool and come up here to um, spacing between letters. I'm going to change that to about five, uh, maybe a seven. Okay. Because when you add a stroke, these little spaces, you want to make sure that they're not touching. So I think actually I'm going to do a nine. Okay. Now to add a stroke, all you have to do is hold shift and click on a color. It doesn't look like it's there, but it is. It's really small. So what you're going to want to do then is open your fill and stroke with this little paintbrush icon here, or you can go to object fill and stroke. And also you want to open your align and distribute and that's down here at the bottom or these three little bars here and it opens up these boxes here all right so we want to make our stroke thicker so we're gonna to go to the fill and stroke panel and click on stroke style and we're going to change it to about a six okay none of the um, stroke is touching so I could probably even get away with an eight. I just don't want it to come out too rounded. So let's go back to seven. We'll just use seven. Okay, now to get rid of the black part, you just click on this X in front of the color black on your color strip over here, okay? Um, now we need to turn this stroke, we need to convert it because it's still text. Okay, go to path, stroke to path, not object to path. That won't work. It has to be stroke to path, okay? And then let's grab our Bezier pen, just like in the other video. Left click, hold the control so it goes straight across. Left click, hit enter. Uh, selection tool, select them both. Go to your align and distribute, and this is all in the other video. And let's even it up. And then we're going to go to path division and something's going to happen. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. As you can see, it filled these letters in. Now, if you were to cut this, it would just cut it twice, but to get rid of that, you can deselect, select the top part and go to path combine and it gets rid of that. But then you also have to do path union. And select the bottom part, path union, and we'll control D twice to make copies. Select them all, space them out, control D twice, and select them and space them out. And I didn't duplicate my text, so and that was alpha slab. And that can be found on Defont if, if you'd like to use it. And this also has to be converted. So this is an object path. Object ungroup path union okay and that's it pretty simple right so 
before you save this, you want to click on each element and make sure that it says path down here. Okay. Now let me show you how to do this with a skinnier font. I'll just type out Patriots again because I know how you all love the Patriots. Oh, I don't want that font. I want, let's see, uh, cinnamon cake. All right. Now, see how thin that font is? All right. First thing, again, you want to do is go back to your text tool and separate those out. I'll do a 7, maybe even 10. All right, and then I'm going to hold shift and add that stroke. I'm going to go back to the stroke style and let's try a four. Okay, you want to leave some black in there, otherwise, you're not going to have any hollow. So let's try three. Okay, and then click on the X and that gets rid of the inside. So you can do this with any font at all. It's just whether it's going to look right. Um, these are pretty thin. I probably wouldn't cut anything less than a than, uh, five pixels. Um, and this is only three. But all you have to do is space them out, thicken it up, and then do your stroke. Okay. So this is still text and it's a stroke, stroke to path, and now it's a path. Okay. So that's it. Pretty simple, right? If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the 651 Vinyl Facebook group, or you can leave a comment under the video, um, which reminds me I need to fix my email about. I'm not getting my emails when people leave me comments. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope this helps those of you that were wanting to know how to get this effect. And thank you for watching.